here 24 hours a day. Hi, my name is Reggie. Hi, I'm Nelson. Hi, my name is Sanjana. Hi, I'm Brianna. Hi, I'm Alicia. We're, We're here, here to, to talk, talk about, about food deserts. deserts. Food deserts are, are places where people don't have access to fresh and healthy food to buy. They really surround you to buy or in low-income communities and in a place where people rely on fast food restaurants as a source of food since they have no general access to grocery stores that have fresh and healthy foods. We want to raise awareness about the food deserts as there are a lot around and in Cabarrus County. End of the hunger crisis that needs to be addressed in these low-income communities. There are several reasons people don't have access to healthy foods. One main one is that people don't have access to grocery stores due to no way of transportation and stores being too expensive and far away. If they are too far, you need gas, but gas is fairly expensive. So say I have $20 for me. I need to drive all the way to a store that is 10 miles away. I need to get gas, which may cost me $15, which only leaves me with $5. I cannot buy much, especially healthy foods, with $5. 1.3 million people are a mile away from a grocery store and do not own a car, meaning people would have to walk to a store, which can limit how much they can carry back, or they would have to rely on a family, family member or friend to drive them to a store, which may become inconvenient. The major reason for why a large majority of Americans are obese have type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and in some cases malnourished or other diet related complications. This is why we are addressing the problem as it is starting to grow in Cabarrus County, include in the Cabarrus County, including several towns and cities such as Concord, Harrisburg, Kannapolis, Midland, and Mount Pleasant. Seeing that this problem is rising, we need to help out and possibly eliminate this problem. Also, we want to raise awareness about it so people can help out and give better food options to others that need it. The two main cities that are being affected by these food deserts are Kannapolis and Concord. Although it may be hard to believe that there aren't any healthy grocery stores or markets within a mile radius might be shocking. It is true and especially so near us. Help people in these areas be able to live happy and healthy lives, providing them healthy food food from the YMCA community farm and to make sure that people don't have to get to the point where they have health conditions such as malnourishment, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Dictionary definition of food deserts is an urban area which is difficult to buy and afford good quality fresh food. But a general definition would be that it is normally found in an impoverished area that doesn't have any cheap and healthy food within a mile radius. And we want you to help by watching the other video about the YMCA Community Farm. And if you can, go to the YMCA Community Farm. We want to talk to people about how to help. If you do, you should go to Brent Rocket, Senior Director of Operations, Cannon Memorial YMCA and Alicia McDaniel, the REACH Program Coordinator. You should go to www.americannutritionassociation.org. You can help us by going to the YMCA Community Farm and volunteering. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Happy Wednesday, Domanites, and welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Marissa. And I'm Allison. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2017, and today is the B-Day and our last STEM IB Day, and this is KNN. Today, for your trying pleasure, you will enjoy a fiesta bar, orange chicken with fried rice and egg roll, corn dog, steamed corn, fresh veggies with dip, strawberries with cream, and crispy egg roll. Yesterday, the C.C. Griffin boys soccer team defeated Hickory Ridge 3-0. Justin Cooper scored a clutch goal in the second half. The team plays home court today at C.C. Griffin in their last regular season game. A win today would earn the team the regular season championship and a number one seed in the tournament. Great job, boys, and good luck today. Get excited! Our last dance of the school year is this Friday, May 5th, after school until 6.30 p.m. Come party at the Beach Bash Dance. Admission for 6th and 7th graders is $3 per 4 or $4 at the door. 
Tickets go on sale today before homeroom at the top of the IV and STEM hallways. If you are an 8th grader, admission to the dance is free. With admission, you will receive a slice of pizza, drink, and an entrance to a VIP room for 8th graders only. You must sign up at the top of the IV or STEM hallways and get a ticket starting today. Celebrate poetry with everyone by adding a favorite or original poem to the poetry graffiti that is starting in the Media Center. Backed by popular demand, if you would like to share a poem with others, bring a copy of the poem to the Media Center and write it on the windows for others to enjoy. Quiz will practice tomorrow morning from 8.10 to 8.40 in Mr. Walter's room. Attention to C. Griffin Track Team. Practice is canceled for today. That's all the announcements for the news today. Remember, make it a great day or not, the, the choice, choice is yours. yours.